everybody, Zori Lita back again. Um, just wanted to give you an update on the resin projects. Uh, yesterday I took the very last bits of resin I had and I wanted to experiment with yellow because I needed a yellow rose. As you can see, the light shines through, so it's not completely solid and it looks really nice. Um, the only issue was I did not clean my mold, so I have sprinkles of uh, glitter in here, which isn't terrible, but it's not all the way through. Either way, it's uh, cured well. It's nice and solid. I was worried because it was a little sticky, but it worked out okay. This one is, you know, the last little bits of remnants because I don't like to waste things. So I put uh, some sprinkles that had fallen on the floor anyway into it. I think if I was to do this for um, an actual rose, I would have to fill this thing completely full of little cake sprinkles. So I don't know that I'll do that again. But what I wanted to show you was a new mold. I found this at uh, Michael's. And this is a chocolate candy mold. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if I did some resin that was like uh, stuff for a Cosmic Cupcake Chaos and maybe sold it? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it has some cool different designs. And I thought, well, I'll probably try to do some layered uh, designs like these ones here. Put like a layer of like white chocolate looking resin, let it cure for a while, put some brown, some darker brown, and make it look like real chocolate. So that's going to be my next project. I had thought about doing the resin domes and things like that, but I think I think I want to keep going with this kind of stuff because it just seems like it makes more sense for me considering how expensive resin can be. But like I said, I did get my next batch of resin for half off because Michael's has some awesome coupons. Also, places like Art Supply Warehouse over in Westminster, California, they have some cool sales too. So thanks for checking it out. I'm going to be back in a while. Oh, and always clean your molds so that there's no glitter left behind because glitter is amazing, but it never seems to go away. Okay, check you later. Bye, guys.